Okay, cool. Yeah. So now we're back in the ads manager. Make sure we're in the in the correct drop down. Remember the dot at the top. We got the drop down. Go to uh, the real estate one. Perfect. And now what we're going to do is um, click on no. Okay, perfect. So now the link that you have in your Gmail, that's the bookmark link, right? So later on, get back to that and, and, and throw that in the ads manager folder. But from here, what we're going to do is just click on the dots to the left. Okay. And then we're going to go to events manager. This is how you get to your pixel um, this way. So mm -hmm. events manager, and then we're going to continue pixel setup. Okay. Install, Install code, manually. code manually, copy code. And then we're going to continue, make sure all those are blue, which we're good. And then we're exit X and out of this. Okay. Okay. And perfect. So now we're going to go back, here. paste it in. Yep. And then click and apply. apply. There you go. And then now there's always a three, a three click exit from a Kartra page. So let's go to the top, right? The actions, the green button, we're going to save mm -hmm. progress. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna we're gonna X out of this, and then we're gonna go back, publish live. Okay. And when I publish a page live, I always want to get the page link, and mm -hmm. I want to I want to edit that 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 back end part. So I always want to edit that right away. So um, as we go back in, as we go into into future calls, and I start teaching you the Kartra side, we're gonna integrate mm -hmm. our own domain. Like I'm gonna want you to get your own domain, so we don't have to tie it to this long Kartra link. But for yeah. now, it's fine. So let's just let's just let's customize that back end. And what I what I normally do is I'll change that AMQ one. I'll change that to the title of the page. So what do we what do we title the page? Um, uh, Scheduling your, your free strategy call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Putting your Link free strategy. So put that in there. Yeah, put that in there too. Yeah. I think it was um, schedule your free strategy call. Is that what we? Yeah, I think it was that. Yeah, schedule your free strategy call. Okay. And then uh, press check mark, schedule. Yes, the check mark. Yeah. Okay. And then get this link and upload it um, to a new Yeah, so get that link tab. and let's just, let's just copy it and open it up in a new tab. And when you have your Facebook pixel helper, when you're back on your computer, You'll be able to you'll be able to see if that pixel is installed correctly, which it is. But in fact, watch. Send me the link. Send me the link. Send that link to me in, in the chat. Okay. Um, Just you I... already have it copied. Just go ahead and hit the chat and and paste it. Okay. Um, trying to. So you should see the chat, the Zoom chat. And then enter. So do you Perfect. see that? Perfect. So come back over okay. to my. Come back over to my um, screen. Do you see? Let me see here. Okay. Do you see my uh, my Facebook page? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So as I click on your link, you can see up here I have my Facebook Pixel Helper installed. And if I click on it, it w it should say, um, "Well, if I was logged into your if when you're when 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 you get back to your computer." Mm -hmm. and you look at your Facebook Pixel Helper, it's going to give you the name of your Pixel, which was Real okay. Estate Investors or something like that, right? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. but because I'm logged into my Facebook and I'm looking at your Pixel, it just says Facebook Pixel. But if you go back okay. to your Pixel, so so go back to your Facebook Pixel, like watch, for example. Okay, so this one ends in 5571. So let me, mm -hmm. let me stop sharing. Okay. Go ahead and share okay. your screen. Mm-hmm. And um, now I should go back and it should say. Okay, so so go back to the ads manager. Okay. Okay, so now now let's okay, there it is there. Five five seven one. Perfect. So okay, we're good. Yeah, yeah. So now let's one. refresh this page. Refresh this page. The Facebook this one right Facebook here. Refresh it. There. Yep. So this is what I wanted you to bookmark. So this oh, okay. right here. Now it looks different, right? Now the pixel is different. So so in the future, yeah, you can X that out. So in the future, this is the link right here. So let's copy this link. And yeah, go back to Gmail because I want you to do this the right way. So let's yeah. let's let's copy this link and this is our pixel.
Okay. So, okay. so, so in the future, in the future for every page from this point on now, what we went over on our previous call were, were two very important numbers, your business ad manager number and your, and your ad account ID number, your business okay. manager ID number and your, and your ad account ID number. This is also somewhat of an important number as well. Now, Facebook's not going to really ever need to know it, but just internally for your, for your knowledge, for your, for your knowing, there's your mm. pixel ID number, 74153. So that's your pixel ID number. Okay, so that's always good to know as well. So from this point on, if you ever need to add your pixel to a page, you'll click on add events okay. right there, add events to the, to the left. And then from a new website, from a new website. And okay. then you'll simply come back into- so I want to use this pixel for every kind of real estate investor ad that I want to do. Yes, for everything pertaining to this business. So, okay. real estate investors, if it if if we're running ads to a to a to a landing page, yes, this pixel goes on every landing page from this point on. Every landing okay. page, every thank you page, every random page in a funnel, when it pertains to this real estate business, yes, this pixel is the only pixel that goes on all these pages. Okay, and this okay. is okay. Cool. So hit add events. Let me walk you through it real quick. Add events and then from a new website and then we're back here. Okay. And then you just get the code and then you put it onto the, to the landing page. That's all you do. That's all you do. Be able to track, and this is just pixels. Is, from my understanding, it seems like it's just to track your info, track your leads, see how much is happening, like it's activity and stuff like that. Right. Yes. Like, so for example, the pixel is now on the landing page. So as mm -hmm. we start to run Facebook ads, Facebook is going to start tracking everyone who lands on that page. Okay. And, and why do you need to know that? Because you want to know the amount of clicks you're going to want to, you're going to want to be able to create a, create a custom audience, which is what we yeah. bookmarked earlier, um, which we'll get into on our third call. We'll start filling in the blanks for custom audiences on our third call, but mm -hmm. at least we have the page open now, the first landing page, but the mm -hmm. pixel allows you to create a custom audience because as we start to run Facebook ads, there's going to be X amount of people that land on the page and leave. And there'll be X yeah. amount of people who land on the page and fill out the form and schedule the call. The and pixel the tracks all that in. for us. So okay, and the people that don't fill in will still be able to retarget. To yes, you, right? we'll be able to retarget because the pixels on that page and because we set up a, a custom audience around that pixel. Okay. Yeah. So the pixel okay. is just, is just tracking everything. And then as we go into future, and as we go into our third call, We'll start categorizing everything, meaning we'll we'll set up a very specific audience of those who land on the page and land on the page only, and mm -hmm. then those who actually opt in, those are people who then go to the thank you page, right? They go to the thank you page, they opt in, they go to your landing page, they enter their in information, they go to the thank you page. That thank you page. So let's go back to Kartra real quick. Mm -hmm. What you'll want to do on Kartra, you have your landing page. There's your squeeze page. Now let's go back to Kartra. And now what you'll want to do is you'll want to create, let's close and then let's hit return a dashboard. So again, it's a three click close, three click exit. You save progress, you publish live, mm -hmm. and then you return a dashboard. So now what we, what we should do real quick right now is just set up a quick thank you page. So hit the green one okay. and, and just go to thank you pages and just pull a random template. So the pixel is going to go on this page as well. And this page. Do I, should I put a video on the thank you page? I as would, well? man, for sure, bro. Like, I would for sure, okay. for sure, for sure. Okay. And I'll tell you exactly what you should say in that video. Okay. So okay. Cool. Let's name this one the same as we named the opt in page, but this one's going to say thank you page. So that's what you want to do also. So as you start to build out pages for specific funnels, Name them the same. And seller, I want to put in so thank you page. Leads put it in that. There you go. Yep. No site particular. Hit create. So again, you named it seller, seller, uh, seller page, seller thank you page. Mm -hmm. By default, that's also the name of the title or the tab. So we don't want to name that. We don't, I don't want yeah. that to be the title. So, so let's just be able to go into this. SEO yep, parameter. There you go. There you go. Let's change that. Let's change it to something different. Um, Thank you for thank you for scheduling your call, or or no thank you for thank you for um, let's say thank you for I don't know thank you for your interest, um, 
and as we go more into this, I'm going to show you a different, I'm going to show you how to set up these pages a little bit differently for, for the objective that you're after. You're after appointments. So yeah. we don't necessarily need them to go to a landing page to opt in and then come here. What, what yeah. we want to do is maybe, maybe take them from an ad straight to a page where when they're entering their information, they're actually scheduling an appointment. Okay, so I need like a calendar too. Is that yeah, what you're like a calendar on that first page, which we'll clean up later. Right here, I'm just giving you the okay. example of installing this pixel. So we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll do that later because that that's exactly what I'm doing on my end with my business. Is I'm gonna start running ads for appointments. So I'll show you how I'm doing it. We'll get okay. into this in our, in our future calls. But so now in this case, all we're doing is we're changing the title. And remember. It's only on the landing page. It's only on the squeeze page where all that other stuff is important. The, inf the description. Yeah, we don't need the description. Okay, yeah. We yeah, don't yeah. need none of that on the thank you page. Just the title. So go ahead and click apply. We don't even need an image. Okay. So now what we want is, is go ahead and go back. SEO parameters, hit the back arrow, or you can X out, whatever. Now we and want tracking track code. code and put that same. There goes that pixel. Okay. Actually, that's that. Is that it? Is that the pixel? Uh, We can just go ahead and... Let's do it again. We'll I don't just, think I don't we'll just make sure. Pixel. Yeah, that's not the pixel. So let's go back. So add events, add events uh, from a new, from a new website. website, install copy code. That's it. Perfect. And then X out. Okay. Perfect. And then we can just go back here and then okay. put this. Okay. Paste it in right there. Click apply. And that's it, man. So green button at the top right, save progress, publish live. And then, and then, and once you publish live, let's always get in the habit of changing out this link, customizing okay. this link. So you could just put anything for now, and you can always change it later. Okay. Uh, just. Um, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, you can put that for wait. now. Okay. Yeah. Can't wait just to some... speak to you or something like that. Yeah to speak with you or whatever. Yeah, we can always change that later. So there's the link, the pixels on that page now. And now that we have the two links, so we have the link for the landing page. We have the link for the thank you page. Now what we can do, is we, which we'll do on our next call, but our next call is now setting up custom audiences and setting mm -hmm. up custom conversions. That's our next call okay. now that we have the links. So, so do I want to put this into a separate page though? Not, not yet, not yet. We don't, we don't need to do it yet. Yet. So let's close this out. Now, here's, here's what I'm gonna do for this one, and and I'm, I'm recording the call for you, so don't, 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 don't worry about taking notes on this. Okay. But this right here, this thank you video. Here's a few bullet points to, to touch on, as, as you cut this video, and this could be a short video, something simple on your cell phone, keeping it real, keeping it authentic, and just being very genuine, being, being Ethan. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the four things to hit on is number one, I'm thanking them. That's a bullet point. That's bullet point number one. I'm thanking them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your interest in what we're offering. It's thank you. It's thank you, number one. Number two, I'm introducing myself. So I'm just giving a, a little brief description of who I am and why I'm so fired up to help people. That's number two. Okay. Yeah. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email because I just emailed them some detailed information that they're gonna to wanna to read right away. So whatever your business pertains to, you're emailing them something right away. And, and by, 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 um, by verbally saying that, and by making them actually physically go and check their email, it already psychologically gets them in the habit of checking your emails. So okay. it's a little magic that we're yeah. doing psychologically. Like I'm already programming you to check my emails. And, and so that's bullet point number three. Check your email because I just emailed you some great information that's going to tell you this, 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 and this. And this and is also, different from the video it is I'm supposed to make for our oh, very yeah. first ad. Oh, yeah. This is after the fact. This is after yeah. you captured the lead, after they're already in your world. Yeah. Number one, I'm thanking them. Number two, I'm introducing myself. Number three, I'm telling them to check their email. And number okay. four, I'm telling them to click the button below to schedule their free strategy call. Okay. So what we'll end up doing is we'll end up putting a button right here. And when they click on it, it goes straight to your cart or calendar. Okay. 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 Cool. So those like, are the like four bullet points. Um, and we'll clean this up later, but, but yeah. now that our pixel is on the page, now that we have um, the new pixel page bookmarked, we're good. So return to dashboard. Okay. 
and now now we're good. So the same thing applies for any page from this point on. It's going into the SEO parameters, changing the the the, the title of the tab, and then adding that that pixel. Now here's another thing too. When it pertains to the same business, the same funnel, you can always clone a page. So if you click mm -hmm. on the three dots and you clone it, and let's say you want to just work around whatever you have, everything comes with that that clone. So that Facebook pixel, if you were to clone this, it's going to duplicate the page, and that Facebook pixel is already on the page. Okay. So, you, so I, I okay. So I can just keep the same type of squeeze page that I want and just change around the images and stuff. Yeah, like man. That, and I'm yep. Good. Yep. And okay. the pixel is already there. So the pixel will already be there. But what you'll want to do is change out the title. You'll always want to go in, hit settings, and change the page title for everything because yeah. every page is going to be different. So um, change that page title, and and that's it. So and that's why look, you have the you have that title up at the top with the Karcher page. Schedule your free strategy call. You see how you how it says right there on the title of your, of your squeeze page? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's the page yeah. title. So that's the, that's the tab title. So that's really cool. That's really important. I want it to be you know a call to action to whatever the heck I'm trying to make them do. For sure. Yeah, so, so okay. that's the pixel. Yeah, man. I wouldn't that's, have been able to do this. This is uh, yeah, man. a little bit more. Than I think I learned. Good, good, man. Good, yeah. good. So, we, and we got a shitload more to learn, bro. So we have, we have, we have yeah. some good, some more good stuff coming on. But I could pour it all on you right now, bro. But it'll be overwhelming. So that's why I take it in steps. Yeah. So, so that's our pixel. That's very, very important. Our pixel code, our pixel ID number, bookmarking this, knowing how to get to it, and knowing how to add it to all these Karcher pages. Um, that's okay. this entire call right now. So myself, yeah, go ahead and send it. And that's your master copy right there. So, um, okay. awesome. let's schedule our next call as soon as you can. And that's when we're going to take these links and go and create custom audiences and custom conversions. Okay. Okay. Well, so schedule that call you, when, you, whenever you can. Where do you, um, do I need to stop sharing? Um, not necessarily. You can leave it at, at this. We'll, we'll end, end the call now, but, but yeah, schedule tomorrow if you're available and we'll knock out call number three tomorrow. We can knock out three, four, and five tomorrow if you want. It's up to you. Yeah, no, I'm totally fine with that. Uh, do I just schedule from within the email that you sent me? Yes, that calendar link. Yes. Okay, so I can just go in from here and get a scheduled time. Actually, it wouldn't be there. It'd be um, hit your inbox. It would be um, – let me take a look at your inbox real quick. It would be um, – Available calls. There you go. Perfect. It'd be that one right there. Okay. So schedule it okay. there, man, and then we'll continue with the next few steps. Okay. Do I just? Uh, would it be fine for me to just go ahead and do multiple? Let's do it, bro. Yeah. You, I think you have to do one at a time, but yeah, man, set set them up. Okay. Set them up, and we'll we'll go from there. Okay. Well, here I can go ahead. And I guess stop sharing, but. Yeah, um, man. Thank you. So and much. use the yeah, same use the same email that that I have you down for. I have you. I have you. 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 You put in two different emails initially, but let's let's mm -hmm. stick with just one for for you and I. I'll stick make with sure, the yeah, um, do, uh, Edmiston. Yeah, the dot seven. seven. Com. Okay. Yeah, 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 that yeah. One. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Right on, bro. Sounds yeah. good, man. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you so much. All right, bro. You're very welcome. See you later. Bye. -bye.